Well, I found out this morning uh, from Frank, of course, you know, no, none other um, than the source. But uh, it felt good. It felt good. I don't take anything for granted. And uh, like I said, it's a great award and it's a great name under that award. And there's other great names of guards last year and there's probably even better guards this year. So um, just to be a part of it again, I feel really, uh, really blessed for that. There we go. I was waiting for a I was waiting for a UNLV question. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah. I mean, uh, anytime you get beat at your place and then going back to the other person's place uh, for this pivotal of a game, uh, revenge is always the word that kind of comes to mind. But we're just taking it uh, more along the lines of it's a big week for us. Um, um, one game at a time. Obviously, we're going to a um, a crazy environment that. Um, Sometimes we haven't got got wins in, but we feel very confident how we're we're playing, and um, especially on the road, uh, off a tough loss. So we have revenge on that team, and we have a a road game revenge as well. So there's a lot of momentum for us, and a lot of uh, a lot of goals we're setting for Wednesday uh, that we're going to try to try to achieve. Obviously, coming off, I mean, the fact that they beat you guys is good. Um, you guys aren't going to overlook UNLV, but you guys have a big one coming up Saturday too. How hard is it in a week like this to not look at both games and at least think a little bit about the fact that you got number six San Diego State, the, the team you're chasing coming in on Saturday. Yeah, um, it's kind of interesting how this uh, schedule uh, has played out. Definitely, um, you know, the most I've observed a schedule since I've been here, and uh, especially with this week coming up, um, going on the road to UNLV, who's the last team to beat us at home, and then having the top 10 San Diego come to our home. Um, but I think the timing of it is really good because of how we're playing and uh, – um, situational wise, I think we're ready to to hit the scene and have a great week for uh, for the program and for this team uh, moving forward and finishing finishing the season strong. What do you remember about that UNLV game? Um, yeah, I, I remember it was just um, uh, whoever got the ball last was going to score, and I think we need that. That's probably the biggest thing we need to change is that uh, we understand um, our confidence and how we're going to score against them. But we need to clamp down and be able to play them defensively because um, we've been playing a lot better defense, and I think that's been the biggest growth of this team. Are you almost more to your advantage as far as focus standpoint because you know you have these two hard games coming up, and then you just you know there's no let up in your head. You just grind, grind, grind. No doubt, no doubt. Hundred, uh, hundred, hundred percent of the time we're on the grind now. Um, like I said, since I woke up to to Frank's news, it was great news about the about the award, and then the rest is the rest is just complete grind time. We're gonna try to earn 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 everything we've worked for, and it's been a great season so far. And uh, this is a pivotal week um, to, to keep that going because if we take care of business um, on Wednesday, it gives us an opportunity on Saturday, which gives us an opportunity for. Uh, to finish the way that we've been talking about all year. So one game at a time, it starts with uh, getting our revenge in Vegas and, and moving on from there. A lot of people critique this conference every day. How do you critique it? Um, I've, I'm, I've defended this conference since I've been here, so this year I probably would just say un underrated. You know, probably every year underrated. Last year was just such an amazing year um, in terms of people's RPIs and win percentages and home home records. But – um, I think now that you've seen going, going through conference and teams competing and certain teams losing to other teams, you've seen that it's just as competitive. Competition is just there and uh, competition is just the same. So if I had to sum it up in one, one word, probably underrated this year. Specific to UNLV and the defense you mentioned, the defense you guys played against UNLV, they, they got everything going. Smith, Bill Smith had his you know, first really good game all season. Mm -hmm. um, Bryce had his really good game. Defending the perimeter was, was really what happened in that game that probably – let them have the offensive success they did. Specific to defending that perimeter, what's different about you guys right now? Um, I think just mentally we're more locked in. Um, um, we're, we're aware of what these refs are trying to call, and a lot of times we're, uh, we're not trying to get those fouls, but at the same time we still have to have that tough mindset as to we're going to get this stop and, um, and know the situations and know when we need stops. Um, because I think we just lost that at, at that um, juncture last last time in the pit. We didn't know when we need to get those stops or um, you know pivotal situations. So I think now we just know situational wise we are better situated to um, um, attack that and, and and clamp down when when most needed. Because we were scoring with them. Uh, there's no doubt we can score with them. But uh, I believe how we're playing right now, Bigs inside and now our guards picking up the defense on the perimeter that we sh we should be able to defend them no problem, slow them down, and then get what we want on the other side. You guys. Um, um, 
You know, I don't think it's uh, a matter of if we should be ranked at this point. It's just a matter of if we handle our business, then we'll be in the position um, we should be in anyway. So um, I, I do think we're a top 25 team, uh, obviously. You know, uh, I'd say that if we weren't getting any votes. But um, uh, uh, I think if we handle our business this week, we will be ranked. So I guess it really doesn't matter. You guys, you in particular were obviously coming off Mount West Star year last year. Had a season you did last year when the Mountain West was at its best. This year, people, because of the season the team's having, are talking about Xavier Thames. People are talking about Cam because of the out of nowhere kind of season he's had to a lot of people. Um, do you feel like you're getting two questions? Are you getting the attention you think you deserve based on the season you're having? And how do you compare your season this year to last year? Do you think you're having a better year? Um, I mean, it depends on what your, uh, what your definition of better is, uh, individually. Um, you could probably say, yeah, um, because, uh, I've taken not only strides statistically and people have seen improvements that wise, but, uh, just, um, my understanding of the game and, uh, tempo and I think leadership. I've always tried to, uh, since really my sophomore year, I've been striving to become this leader. And I think now, um, some of the guys, are most all the guys believe in what um, I'm trying to do, what the coaches are trying to do, and I think that's been the biggest step forward because uh, having that trust um, from the coaching staff and the players has uh, really helped my confidence. So, um, you know, as for now, Cam Bearstow should still be league MVP, but um, uh, I, I'm not worried about my attention. I'm just trying to have a good week for the team and uh, hopefully uh, come o come away with another another win, uh, another ring because that's at the end of the, at the end of the day we're looking for a championship and. Um, it starts with Vegas, and then we keep going from there, and it's all going to be good. John Jones got 13 free throws when you guys played him here and, and get into the team. Um, how do you guys defend him? He's a great one-on-one -on -one player, so we just need to give him a lot of attention and make him a playmaker. Um, he hit some tough shots in the pit and got into a nice rhythm. So um, it's something where, you know, uh, I've talked to the coaches, and they're going to let me get uh, so, some time on him because uh, – you know, I've I've really been trying to come into a defensive mind um, as of late. I think that can really help the team. And Hugh and I did a really good job on Deontay, which I think um, was a nice result on Saturday. It helped it helped with momentum take, taking away uh, his head. And um, they have a couple heads on UNLV, but it starts with it starts with Bryce, and um, and he was a, a major factor in their win here. Obviously, so we need to take him out of rhythm and make sure he's struggling all 40 minutes. And uh, and I think we'll be okay from there. Your thoughts on uh, on Cam? What what kind of problems is he? Oh man, um, 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 Cam, uh, Birch. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said Cam. Um, uh, no, it's it's okay. Uh, he he's uh, a monster. You know, people give uh, um, Nance a lot of credit, um, uh, well deserved because he's so good defensively. But uh, he's someone uh, that could be defensive player of the year. I don't know if he got it, who got it last year. Maybe AK. You know, he was in the running for it last year, and he's in the running it for it again. So. Um, we have to get our bigs going early because they're real physical and get him knocked off the block. And then, obviously, when the guards get penetration, we need to be aware of his presence, ball fakes, and, and dishes, and finishing strong. And um, that should take care of that. Just the, uh, the atmosphere at the College Mac. Uh, they've got Cam Kong now, man. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh, they've got this giant, like, yeah, puppet. And really? Yeah, just the atmosphere out there. Can you comment on the atmosphere out there? You know, um, uh, I was always impressed by uh, the the. the fire they had you know shooting out I don't know if they still have the fire I hope they st still have that but uh whatever else is, is is cool you know we do a good job in, in the pit of of really turning it up and um San Diego has a great home court so that's another one th one thing to answer a question of, of earlier what the Mountain West is all about some of the best home courts in uh in, in college basketball and uh it's nice to see UNLV stepping up a little bit because they're gonna they're gonna need it they're gonna need all their fan support and they're gonna need their best game because we're coming out to Vegas uh for business and we're coming out to you know to, to take what they took from us you know, critique coach in his development as a new head coach, mm -hmm. practice coach, game coach, his composure in the huddle, mm -hmm. his intellect in there, making adjustments. What can you tell us what he's like in all three? Um, you know, um, I, I don't know where really I can answer that question in terms of critiquing my coach because uh, that's not really my, my, my position to do that. But, um, you know, uh, he's – uh, I vouch for him in the beginning of the season. I would still vouch for him because uh, he's a great players coach, and um, he's he's learned along along the way um, how to deal even better with situations, game situations, and um, he's always been a great X's and O's guy. So um, as he's grown, the team's grown, and the team will continue to grow. So he's doing a great job, and that's about all I'll say about that. <laughs> Do you have an end game in the wild on the Warriors' side, man? 
uh, you know, there's a story to, to a lot of my tattoos. Um, you know, it's been a good ride for me. So, um, unfortunately, I finished this. So, uh, we said unfinished business. So I'll have to find some, some area to, to finish my business, you know, because I still have a lot of aspirations for this team and uh, to finish my senior year. And I know Cam does and CP and um, um, everyone, everyone down the line, Alex and Hugh. So, uh, we're, we're just excited, man. We're excited. Uh, uh, not to take away from the question of my ink because, you know, I love it. I love my arm. But uh, we're just excited about the week to come, and we're going to have a good day of practice today and a good game on Wednesday. You know, you've been playing around for a while now. You guys really great. You're also putting out press time and stuff like that. You've you, you had a lot of success. What, what, does that make that home run more difficult than the other home runs you've had this year? Because you're not going like Wyoming and Memphis, not going to press time. You're not going to these other places yeah. that have more and more yeah, we feel comfortable there. We feel comfortable there, and we've um, uh, we've won some games there. You know, uh, I've said sometimes we struggle to win games there, but uh, you know, we've won the tournament the past couple times there, which is which has been nice. And uh, uh, what would really be good for us is to go there during the regular season and beat them because we haven't done that in a while. We've we've struggled to do that for for whatever reason, you know. Um, but this is one we really need, so we're going to lock down, and we've won on that court before. So, like I said, they're going to bring it all because we're we're coming for it.